What are you guys doing? Good, man. How are you? Good, man. Good to see y'all. So, so uh, how, officially, how much weight have you lost? Oh, man. First question. Uh, yeah, you look good. You look good. I appreciate good. it. Uh, I mean, after the season, I went, like, probably the Iowa State game. Like, when I went back home, I was eating a lot for a good bit. I was eating a lot. I'm like, dang. I, I knew going. I knew like that was one of my main things. Like I just wanted to get a little lighter. I was just like just on my knees and stuff like that. I just wanted to lose weight. But I probably lost right now probably 20, 25 pounds. Sir, what are you at right now? Like 240. Like 240. Is that what? You, obviously, that's where you want to try to stay. I guess. Uh, I'll probably get down a little bit more. Probably okay. like 235, maybe 230. Let's just keep going. See how much. So. How's your knee feel? How's your finger feel? Injuries okay? Injuries good, yeah. Knee's getting better. Knee's getting it's almost 100 percent. Fingers 100 percent. Everything's been going good. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Adler said he had talks with you about wanting to see you lose some weight too. Just what were those conversations like? What sort of prompted that? Uh, I mean, for me, it was like, yeah, I knew I wanted to lose some weight. I just wanted to get down. I mean, but like longevity-wise, career-wise, you want to be able to like. I mean, you kind of see like the TB12 diet and mm -hmm. stuff like that, where you want your body's like a temple. So like you want to be able to like treat your body like a Ferrari, like stop putting fast food on myself, like stop eating fast food and like try and treat it like a high, high engine car, like a high fancy car. So kind of just put like good stuff in your body. And then that's what I've kind of been doing, working out twice a day, eating right, been on a meal plan, been on meal prep, is eating the right foods. So what are you not eating right now that you were eating two or three months ago? Uh, like for the most part, I cut down portions, and then I kind of, I kind of got on a meal prep. So I have like meals shipped to my house, and like for lunch and dinner, I eat breakfast here, and I kind of just have like kind of like a calorie, kind of just like just good stuff, like just smaller portions for the most part. So no more in and out when you go home. Nah, no more in and out. <laughs> no more, no more jack in the box, no more stuff like that. No animal style. No more animal style. No so jangles. I, Bojangles, I mean, right now, right now, right now, right now, I'm cutting it out just for a little bit, just kind of coming out, but in moderation, I'll eat it sometimes, but I think the biggest thing for me, I'm a big sweet tooth, so I like eating ice cream a lot, and I think that was one big thing, I cut out eating all sweets. Did you do any uh, off-season work away from Clemson, like out west or anything? Yeah, I, work, uh, I had to work with some guys out west called 3 qb they was working up, just fine-tuning stuff that we work on here, and just be able to like... Uh, just be able to work with some uh, some guys out there that I know, some quarterback dudes. What did Dak Prescott Prescott say to you? What you know, you got to work with him a little bit. I didn't get to see him when I was out there in Texas. Oh. He was there later on. I was in the morning group. I was working out with some other guys, but I didn't get to see him at that point. I didn't get to, I didn't get to talk to him. What areas are you working on? What are you working on um, the, the off season to, to improve on? Oh, this stuff that me and Coach Streeter went over from the season. Different stuff like throwing on the run. Uh, platform stuff, so making sure my feet are underneath me, shorting up my stroke, uh, being more consistent, just uh, being off balance on just different platform stuff for the most part. Me and Coach Streeter, we kind of went over in the offseason things I need to get better at, and we had brainstormed to talk about stuff I thought I can get better at, he can get better at. We came up with a plan, and I kind of took that stuff because in, in college, you can't work, you, quarterback coaches and coaches can't work with you in the offseason. So that's something that the rule where it's like kind of like a bummer, like, in high school, you can work with your coaches all year round. In college, they can't bring you out here on the field unless it's a practice and work with you. So that's one thing. I know a lot of college athletes go go to different places, like like in their back home, like a quarterback coach, and just work on different stuff because your quarterback can, can't work with you. So came up with a plan, and I took it to 3D QB with my boys TK, uh, John Beck, and Adam, and we just and we just look and work on that stuff for the season. So I guess Streeter gave it his blessings, and y'all are doing the stuff that he. Yeah, no, everything, yeah, everything we're, me and Street have talked about with footwork and different stuff just become this, this throwing and stuff. We, I took that three QB and we went over, like we had to set up a plan and we went and we executed that. DJ last year was kind of a, a roller coaster, some ups, some downs. You finished on a high note, although you had the, you know, through the injuries. Where's your mindset right now? How do you feel about your confidence and your ability to kind of do what you've always done? Uh, I feel like my confidence is at an all-time high. I feel like it's been at the same spot where it has been my whole career. Uh, I'm just ready to go out here and just compete, continue to get better each and every day, man. And just take it one day at a time. Come on, take one rep at a time and just be able to be a leader and just be a great team for my teammates out here. How did you see last year? I mean, when you look back on it, mm -hmm. was it a positive year for you? Did, do you wish you could have done better? I mean, what's? how do you look at it now that we're a few months away from it? 
after probably looking at it now, it was definitely, I feel like it was a blessing in disguise almost. I mean, obviously, it, the goal is not to go 10 and 3 to win a national championship every single year. But looking back at it from a different perspective, it was definitely a year for me where to be able to grow, be able to yeah. learn from different stuff, to learn through adversity, just to go through different challenges where it's going to be able to bring you out as a better person on the other side. And I was thankful for it. And I thanks for the challenge that I was given last year. And I, I'm thankful I took it head on. And I'm excited for this upcoming year. Why was it important for you to get that off-season work when you could have been, you know, resting and rehabbing and doing all that kind of stuff? I did all that stuff too, but for the most part, I feel like mm, this getting for me. I want to just continue to get better. Like I didn't want to like stop and like regroup after having after just after the season. I just wanted to keep continue to keep building and just continue to keep ready for the season. DJ, a lot of young quarterbacks on the roster this year. How much are they mm -hmm. picking your brain, looking for advice, uh, especially a guy like Cade uh, coming in here? Um, just how much have they looked up to you so far? I think we've done a good job. I think Cade, Hunter, Billy, we all have done a good job. I think we have a good tight group. We all communicate. We all talk about it. We just pick each other's brains, not just me. I think Cade, he picks up. Pick Cade would pick Billy's brain. Billy would pick Hunter's brain. I pick, I pick Hunter's brain. We all like all work together. I feel like the main thing is that real tight, real tight knit group, and we all work together. And we all just want to be able to get great, be able to push each other. What does Hunter bring now that he's back in that room? What does he bring to the table for you guys? Hunter Holmes or? Um, sorry. Oh, he's not. He's not, he's here. not here yet. That's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Bad. No, bad. it's all good. I got confused. when said Hunter. No, I'm excited. Sorry. Yeah, I'm talking about Hunter, <laughs> Hunter Holmes, but I'm excited for Hunter Johnson to come here. Yeah. I think it's going to be a great opportunity to learn from somebody like a veteran like him, where it's going to be his sixth year. I'm excited to pick his brain. Be able to see a veteran guy like him. Have you talked with him at all yet? Uh, only time I talked to him on the phone for a little bit when Coach Sweeney had told me I got on the phone with him, just talked with him, but I haven't talked to him since. But I'm excited for him to come here, man. We're, t we're talking about you and the different attitude, but mm -hmm. watching these first two practices, it seems like there's a different mindset with the entire team. It just seems like mm -hmm. practices are a little different than they were at any point last year. Am I, am I right? Wrong? I think so. Yeah, I feel like from where the point we're at right now, I feel like we're like a lot a lot farther ahead than we were last year. I feel like offense we're a lot we're a lot older, a lot more grown up. So a lot of the guys on the first group, even the second group, you know, I feel like they're a lot more a lot more experienced, a lot more ready to go. You know kind of what's coming up. What does it feel like having a bunch of healthy receivers to throw to too? It feels good man. We got a lot of guys. <laughs> it feels it's been amazing to be able to see those guys out there and continue to keep competing, keep continue to keep learning from young guys to old guys. It's been great. DJ, what do you think the most important difference is gonna be if a more slim down like a two thirty five you out on the field, um, is it going to be just movement, just being able to and mobility wise, yes, sir. I think that was uh, one thing, big thing, uh, Coach Sweeney, Coach Street talk about. Just be able to get down and wait, be able to be a lot more, a little mo uh, uh, more mo mo mobile in the pocket, be able to have a little bit more uh, just mobility in the pocket. That's the biggest thing. Did you feel like that affected your performance, your mobility last year, feeling it out on the field, being a little heavier? Did you feel like I didn't you think it affected it. it. I don't think it bothered me, but I know that. Like looking back at it, that if I lose weight, then I can be able to be a lot faster. I can be able to be more mobile. I didn't feel like it affected me, but I feel like it can make me that much more better. What is different this year with with Coach Streeter? Of course, Tony Elliott's gone. And, mm -hmm. um, Kyle uh, Richardson. What mm -hmm. what's different out there? Uh, for the most part, I think Coach Streeter's done a really great job. I mean, he has all the attention of the offense. I feel like he's done a great job. Uh, just by leading us. Uh, I think that's one big thing Coach Streeter does very well. He grabs the attention of the guys on the offense, and he's a great leader. And he's, he's a straight-up guy. He tells you not what you want to hear all the time, but he tells you what the right things that you want that you need to hear. And I feel like that's one of the biggest things that I love about Coach Streeter is that he's not going to like just pat you on the butt. He's going to push you to your limits and be able to push you to be that great player that he wants you to be. Coach Richardson. Coach Rich, he's done a great job so far. I love Coach Rich. I'm glad he's got a job now where I can actually talk to him as a coach instead of just a, just a homie. But <laughs> but it's been good to be able to have him as a tight end coach. So be able to pick his brain a little bit sometimes here and there has been good. DJ, you are with a, a new group of centers this year. You had three different ones last year. Mm -hmm. How important is the chemistry between a center and a quarterback? I think it's the biggest thing. It's one of that's where the, that's where the offense starts off with is be able to catch a catch a snap, be able to set the protection with the center, be able to be on the right page. But right now with Putnam working out here, I think it's been a great job with him doing he's been doing a great job. Do y'all try to have some spend some extra time together to kind of get that chemistry down a little bit? Definitely, yeah. With all the centers but uh with Putt, Ryan, Trent, all the guys have been working at center. I think we've it's been a good job just be able to just continue to keep working, be able to get familiar with each other. It's been good. So a little bit just now when they're practicing out there, but what are your impressions of Adam Randall and how do you feel 
like he can kind of contribute to that wide receiving group? I think Adam's good, man. Raw talent. I think he's very well. Runs routes really well. Can catch the ball really well. I think uh, he's really he's really fast. He has a lot of deceptive speed. And he's just a big guy. I mean, you see him out there. He kind of looks like more like a DK Metcalf, kind of like a Joe, like Joe Nagata. Like he's big like that. But he's going to be a great tool. I think as long as he gets the offense down, he's going to be he's gonna be marvelous. He's going to be a great receiver for us. DJ, what did you see from Mafa when he came onto the scene last year and him being one of the, really the main guy here during spring? Uh, Mafia, uh, or Mafa, I call him Mafia, but he's been good, man. I like I like him a lot. He's super quiet, knows exactly what he needs to do, but he's, he's a hard runner, man. He's a big back that has a lot of speed, so I'm excited. He's been doing really well out here in spring ball. I'm excited to see him get the one reps. So this would be good for him. Yeah, important time for him. I, mean, I think it's definitely important for him to be able to go out there with Kobe, with Kobe and Chipley not practicing right now. I think it's important that he's out there with the ones. He's getting all the one reps that if they were in here, he might not be getting as much one reps as he is right now. So it's been good for him, though. It's kind of a similar situation with Jake Brand running stool. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Uh, what about his skill set makes him unique, and how much do you see him grow? I think the biggest thing with Jake is that he's 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 I think the first thing that everyone sees is that how good he is as a pass catcher and a route runner but also that he's done a really good job in the blocking scheme. So where even though he's a little bit skinnier than the average tight end, but he can get his, put his head in there and be able to get make great blocks. So I'm, I'm excited to see Jake. He's been doing really well. Two-part question. Was this last year the most difficult year of your football career? Uh, Probably. I would probably say maybe, maybe not. I mean, I had some... I would probably say it was definitely, yeah, probably, yeah, it definitely was. Like, just all the stuff going through it, all of the adversity that you see, like, just not coming out what you want as planned, like the season, like going two and two. It was like, dang, I've never been two and two in my life like this before in a regular season. It's just, just stuff like that. But you know what? It was it was a blessing in disguise, and I'm thankful for it. The people back home in California say people don't understand how competitive DJ is mm -hmm. and that you say, hey, I'm not going out like this. That's what like, do they mean by that? Uh, the main thing is I'm a fighter, man, you know, Stay, face diversity my whole life is something where it's not like it's not going to bother me where I'm just taking it, take it on the chin, take a head up, and I'm just continuing to keep growing from it, learn from it, and just continue to keep fighting. Are you anxious to show everybody that last year was not the real DJ Uyong Lang? Yeah, 100%. I'm ready to go. What do you think of taking snaps under center? I love it. Yeah, I love it. I mean, back in, football, uh, back in youth football, I used to run the wing tee a lot. So I was like a lead blocker, but being under center is natural for me. And I think it's a good wrinkle for us to just be able to go under center and just be able to change it up. How are you as a lead blocker? I was good, man. A couple of pancakes <laughs> back in youth football. I was big, but I liked it a lot. It was fun. You mentioned ice cream earlier. Is that the toughest food you've had to give up? Giving it up totally? Yeah, giving up sweets totally. Yeah, it's giving up. But it's been easy, though. I mean, you look at it like if I want to be where I want, have the goals that I have in mind and I want to be able to reach those, it's, just, it's easy stuff to give up. What do you eat instead of ice cream? Like a piece of fruit? Or what do you do? Yeah, just, uh, this, this is whatever snacks that I have. Just fruit, healthier stuff, and then ice cream. So. What was the most you weighed last season, would you say? Probably like 260. Okay. I think that was the most I got to okay. in the season. So. I know that after last spring, Coach Sweeney sort of gave you the, the I guess, the mandate to, hey, you need to refine your body. and. Take nutrition seriously. Do you just think looking back, you didn't take it seriously enough that whole season and into the season? No, nah, I don't think I didn't take it serious enough. I mean, because I've always been big my whole life. So, I like being like at the weight I was at, like from like 250 to 255, sometimes up to 260, kind of like going back and forth. But I had been that weight like in high school and college, even when I first got here. And I didn't think it was a problem. But for the most part, I felt like if I want to be able to get better and be the better quarterback for the team that I think that I want to be, then I feel like losing weight is a big, big goal of mine that I want to want to do. Last season, just sort of that to, for you to fully grasp that, I guess? Um, maybe, maybe a little bit. I think it's like if I want to be able to push myself to where the best player I want to be, then that's kind of where I just kind of got that mindset. I just want to be able to lose weight. This is just a goal of mine I wanted to do. You keep the same nickname, or you still think so? Yeah, I mean, whatever. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anybody else? Thanks. Thanks, DJ. I appreciate